I'm disappointed. But if you want to be a surveyor, I hope you did well in that test yesterday. Because every angle and distance that's gotten through for this handheld computer, which we call a data collector, is computer coordinate. So if we had a back site, which we have a line, we turn an angle and a distance and generate a new coordinate on that point we shot on the path. Even with GPS. How many of you know what the shape of the world is? I haven't called on you yet. Let's see. Ya. You're close. And your teachers may tell you that, but the world is actually not round. The Earth, the Earth is actually what's known as an ellipsoid. Does anybody know what an ellipsoid is? Does anybody know what a football looks like? Football is kind of an ellipsoid, but it's an extreme one. The Earth is actually shorter on its axis north and south than it is across it. So the Earth is actually squawked. And so surveys have used, they come up with a, a shape like a football, except it's not as pointed on the end, it's rounded, but it's squawked. So approximates the Earth in mathematical terms. And that's how GPS works. GPS calculates everything off that ellipsoid. So from this point forward, so when you, in the future, when teachers ask you, say the Earth is round, you've got to raise your hand and tell the teachers the Earth is not round. Tell them they're wrong. Shelby did that with Mrs. Rudd, I think, in kindergarten. Mrs. Rudd may still be mad at me, I don't know. But, um, but it's actually not round. So what else could we show them? We showed them, that, does any of them want to look for that if you set it up long? Can we get the this, this so? Yeah, and this is another thing we use, which is the same technology. Yeah, this is what I, I just hold in my hand. This does the same exact thing. This is a handheld unit. And I got 26.87, but I was wiggling probably, but. And you were shooting over there. No, I was shooting over there. Where were you? 24.79. Yeah, right. So see, we get to use a lot of cool tools. And, and all of you know what GPS was, right? But 20 years ago, I asked Mr. Smith, would you know what GPS was 20 years ago? No. Surveyors have been using GPS since, the military has been using it since the early 80s. Surveyors started using 85, 84, and the GPS used to be this big, and we'd have to go out in the middle of the night, because the satellites were only out here in the middle of the night. But um, surveyors have a tendency to get all the new technology before other people do, and use it for surveying applications, a lot of the new technology. And you know what the latest thing we have is? I didn't bring it today, but we have a 3D scanner that we set up in this room and it would scan all of you, the walls, the ceiling, the television, and it would build a 3D point coordinate cloud of everything in this room. And then it would take pictures of the room and it would map those pictures over the 3D cloud. And once it did that, what would you have? I said it earlier, what would, what would you have at that point? Virtual reality. Virtual reality. So surveys right now are in the early phases of building virtual reality of what exists. And I think 20 years from now, the, the private sector, you, you people may be using the scanner type system. They may be in our house. They may be scanning your kitchen, and you may be able to be in a virtual, somebody may be able to come virtually and visit you in your kitchen. Because it's all mapped, it's all sent over the internet. I mean, 20 years, who knows, right? But we, we actually have a scanner. It's a big piece of equipment. We didn't bring it today because this is how to carry around. But it's actually, we built this entire room in 3D with pictures that make virtual reality. So, yeah, I know, I should have brought it. I also did bring some things. Now, I brought some gifts for you guys. And I have to get them out there. Yes, out. again. Because I want, I want to think that all of you can do good in school and, and um, especially math, and become, have the potential to become surveyors and engineers someday and stuff. In England. There's a pencil box in there for each one of you. Color book, which some of you fourth graders may not like. There's pencils in there and so forth. But uh, next time your teachers ask you if you have um, have your pencils, you better have your pencil box with all your pencils in there. Does anybody have any questions about surveying? Yeah, so that's a tough one. I actually started out as an electrical engineer. Um, I don't know if any of you have parents that are electrical engineers. Electrical engineers we would be working inside all the time, but it's heavy in math, and I didn't do that well as an electrical engineer. Let's just leave it at that. So I transferred into surveying because surveying, you have to have strong math skills, 
but you also work inside and outside, and you also have to have a legal mind. There's a lot of, um, we didn't touch on today, there's a lot of law, law to serve in. So it's a very, to me, it was something that gave me, you know, more things to do, especially in the desk, and doing the same language. Yeah, another question? Okay. Um, are you still working with the Department of Justice and the Department of Yeah, but a 3D old. Think about it, an oval, if you draw it on the board, is only two dimensions. So if you made it into, like, yeah, the world is shorter than it is wide. So yeah, it's sort of an oval. But if you look at it in reality, it wouldn't look like an oval because you wouldn't have, it's such a small difference if you wouldn't have to tell that. But it's closer to an oval than it is a sphere. That's why they lift weights. That's why they use the lift weights. Any other questions? I did bring candy. Is it all right to give out candy? Yeah, you know. I learned that from 15 years ago that I'd give out candy, but I always ask the teacher if it's okay. I mean, survey is, survey is, survey is not that exciting, but candy is a bit more exciting. Yes. Yes.